everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to cover how to create this chromatic look and we've seen this in, on many renders on many different 3D artists and I was always wondering how to create this with Redshift and I was overthinking it because yesterday we were brainstorming on my live stream. By the way, every Friday 8 p.m. GMT time I'm streaming live on YouTube so feel free to join me, hang uh, with me and while we're brainstorming different materials or building different scenes and just generally talking 3D. What we came up with yesterday, it was this material and I was surprised how actually easy it is. So we have our statue. Uh, by the way, you can download this on 3dscans.com. So feel free to download any statue you want and follow along. And we're gonna start by adding Redshift material. Gonna go here, material, Redshift standard. So you can go as well here, Redshift, uh, materials, material standard. I'm going to apply straight away by dragging this material preview on our hair manubis chromatic guard and I'm going to double click the material and I will see in my attributes all the settings and the first thing I want to do is to drag metalness all the way to the top and this way this material will be metallic. Let me turn off the lens effects as well and we have this dark scene with the statue so I'm going to start by putting in HDRI so we're going to have overview of what this material looks like. So far we see it's a, it's a pretty common material and I was always thinking like how do I achieve those awesome reflections and yesterday we brainstormed on that stream that uh, let's start you know stacking different HDRIs on top of each other. So instead of this simple HDRI I'm going to use the HDRI link texture but you don't have to do that you can just go and import any HDRI into this that are similar to to, to what I'm going to be plugging in now so I'm going to just drag this texture onto my HDRI link plus so this will link to my textures and then you can see immediately the look is getting awesome because what we have linked there is probably one of those Pro Studios metals uh, HDRI so if I double click them we can keep changing and you immediately get like awesome awesome looks but this is not why we're here we get these nice reflections and I can turn this on I can also turn off the background on that uh, dome light and I get only the look of that statue and none of the surroundings uh, of the background so now I only want to uh, change that to something where I get some color into my subject so again I go into my HDRI and let's bring in some ultimate skies and you, you see immediately I'll get this look that's how easy it is to achieve this now if you want to combine this in in those scenes then um, you can for example go into project so you're projecting this dome light only on on that statue and nothing else in the scene because maybe you want to lit the scene differently so you can just go include only the Hermanubis God the chroma God if I place anything else in the scene it won't be affected by that dome light only we're going to be using it as a texturing our metallic material the next thing you can do is to uh, change the roughness of the reflections so you can really see like we are still quite rough here and but it's um, providing some sort of softness so the lower you go that you get these harsh details of your HDRI and and you will need to consider you know how how low you can go and uh, you also gonna see the reflections of that HDRI but this is like quite nice look but where I was thinking we could go even better we can plug different texture into that dome light so I'll, I'll go back into that dome light go into the texture and pop in some of the holographic textures I have here so let's say this one you see we're gonna get immediately awesome holographic look like this metal is crazy what other things we found that make a lot of difference if you play with the gamma because that will directly affect how pronounced that uh, texture on that dome light will be so you see this is a lot of saturation so we can dial it down uh, or we can you know really dial it up depending on what kind of textures you plug in in and then also we can have that look fine-tuned by rotating the dome light which we uh, which I can show you now then you can find the proper look you're looking for by rotating the dome light so if I zoom out of this then you see that we have quite a nice material but maybe let's try a little bit different texture here 
maybe this one is too saturated for me so if i go to holographics and i'm gonna plug in something more like that where i i don't have that much of a saturated look and you get a bit more metallic look to it and then it's again playing with your gamma uh, and playing with the saturation and you can you can play with intensity as well you can dial down and dial up you can stack different hdris onto there so the really important settings here is the saturation of the hdri where you can dial in uh, the lot of color but also the saturation is affected by that gamma so the more pronounced uh, that texture will be on your subject you know we we, we see that it's kind of darkened and it's more metallic look so if you want to achieve that i would definitely play with those two settings so i think this is this is pretty cool looking and you know i've been playing with this a lot and i've achieved a lot of different looks uh, quite quickly so it's it's, it's worth to save up the different textures and try a different textures apply this to your objects the last thing i want to mention is those camera effects that we saw in the beginning uh you can go into the lens effects so if i go a little bit closer here uh you can see that that bloom effect can be actually quite nice i don't know how much we can dial this and have that 0.5 so while we're turning this, we get that shine. But it's a little bit over the top and as well, like you can turn on the streaks, which would be ultimate over the top where you can, you get even those streaks on the top. You know, in some cases you might want to do that the way you, we're trying to achieve something really but yep, I love this look and I hope this video helps uh, in not overthinking this material too much. And then uh, think about the dome light and projecting only on certain objects in your scenes. And this way you achieve uh, chromatic effect only on those objects, but not affecting other stuff in your scene. Enjoy.